Hello, welcome to Shine Chats. My name is Bruce Lieberthal and I'm the Chief Innovation Officer at Henry Shine. And I am thrilled because my very special guest today is Dr. Wen Shi, who is the CEO and Chief Science Officer of the prestigious Forsyth Institute. Wen, it's just such a great honor to know you and have the opportunity to speak with you today. You've been such a positive force for good in our profession, having done so much to advance dental research education and care. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your education, your professional history, leading to the, your current role as CEO and Chief Science Officer of Forsyth, uh, including your personal history as a developer of point of care testing? Well, it's such a great pleasure to be here to chat with you. Uh, so I actually got my PhD training on behavior genetics and I did my postdoc training on medical microbiology. So in my wildest dream, and back 20, 30 years ago, I never think I have anything to do with dentistry. And I have to confess, the reason I joined the UCLA School of Dentistry is because we we'll try to stay with the California sunshine. And although I take the best use of the California environment, where I did quite a bit of basic research as well as technology development, including a saliva diagnostic tools I developed. I'm just very excited about the opportunity because Forsyth is just an amazing institute, they have a wonderful cutting edge research program and have some incredible colleagues. And so I'm very honored to be here. Well, great, great. Well, it's great to have you here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Forsyth? What is the Forsyth Institute? What's a little bit about its history maybe? Uh, and, and most especially, uh, why it's so important in terms of dental research. Yeah, so I'm putting a history book together. I'm still learning every day about the amazing history of Forsyth. The reason we call Forsyth is Scottish last name. Our founder is a full brother who actually at that time owns, uh, you know, the biggest U.S. Uh, textile companies. And uh, they donated their for family fortune to establish the first, you know, world first pediatric dental hospital back in 1910. And from the history now we learn is because the big brother when they was trying uh, traveling and uh, and heard the baby crying to figure out the baby had rotten teeth and that was the conception you know of the Forsyth Institute, and ever since you know the Forsyth Institute opened the door and the line is too long and they realized the direct care is not going to solving the problem, so the founder decide you know to make it at the scientific center. And because of that, in the four sides, today's four sides almost have everything to do with what we know about dentistry. We credit for discovering the fluoride, we credit for you know understanding oral microbiome and uh, to figure out the source of the, the reason and the, the causing a, the bacteria who you know, causing a tooth decay and a periodontal disease. Four sides made a lot of other clinical innovation. We are one of the first dental hygiene school and the practice dental hygiene as well as uh, you know, a lot of the growth and development concept that uh, also done it, developed that for us. Wonderful. Uh, and I think many people, maybe most people don't know that Forsyth is pretty central and pivotal to the development of COVID testing, specifically with this program called RADx. Tell us a little bit about what is RADx and, what, and more about Forsyth, Forsyth uh, specific participation uh, in the program and the use of saliva as a sample for COVID testing? Sure. So first of all, the COVID is uh, really changing the world. And uh, uh, one thing very interesting about the COVID-19 is the virus is uh, not only you can detect it in the, in the saliva, but also actually replicating the saliva and all of the many symptoms like symptoms like you loss of smell and taste. Actually dry mouth is another phenotype for COVID-19. Now we clearly know managing the disease it is a, have some kind of point of care, instant test of the COVID-19 is something very important. So federal government recognized that. So back in April and when the Congress have initial appropriation, they, they, they put in a $2 billion for NIH and to aim that goal. And that was really the birth of the RedX program, which is really for the purpose of uh, to, to survey the country with the brightest, the best technology, and, and, and then uh, try to gear them into developing the tool 
uh, which allow us to do some of the point of care of the uh, diagnostics on COVID-19. And it's very interesting after, you know, 4,000, some of the thousands of the program gets evaluated and the few of the semi-finalists and the finalists, the, many of them, I'll say more than half of them, recognize in order to have good instant tests. And uh, saliva is one of the best biospecimen. Uh, so, so Forsyth was very honored to be invited by Red X program, become one of the national resource center. Uh, because we published our first paper about saliva in 1920. And we have, we have to have the, we have been having the saliva diagnostic center, you know, for the last 20 years. And with all those technology on the market that people have those amazing detecting tool, but they don't familiar with the, the, the saliva as a biospecimen. And uh, so that's where FOSA is coming in. We're very honored in the past several months, they've been working with uh, some of the best technology and been contributing our expertise and, uh, and, and hopefully to see, you know, some of those products on the market and uh, will be a saliva based test. Actually, many of them are, some of them are already on the market. Very exciting. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Forsyth is doing important work in other ways, is it not with respect to the pandemic? Yeah, so we definitely recognize uh, detection of the COVID-19 is the first step. There's a lot more you need to do. For example, only 10, 15% of the patient that develop a severe symptom, they need to ICU. So if you actually could uh, figure out a way to detecting uh, and, and sorting out that group of the people, and uh, that will make the disease more manageable. And as I mentioned previously, COVID-19, not only in oral cavity, but also impact in oral immunity, and such as uh, damaging the salivary gland. So there's a, uh, Forsyth has been spending a lot of the studies on understanding how the immune systems and the cell connection with the salivary gland. So we've been applying that tools to the COVID-19, and we now actually own several patent applications, very actively developing a technology to using saliva not only as a biospecimen detecting the saliva, uh, the presence of the COVID-19, but also to actually predicting how severe the disease will go. And the other very use, exciting things we're doing is that, you know, even everybody exposed to the COVID-19, not everybody will get infected. And that might have a lot to do with the oral cavity and uh, your oral immunity, oral microbiome. So we've been assessed those factors to figure out what determined the susceptibility of the infection. You know, thanks, uh, Wen. You know, it occurs to me that one of the, uh, if there is a silver lining to the pandemic, and there, there are precious few of those, maybe acceleration uh, of a movement that, that's been happening anyway, which is to bring medicine and dentistry in more close alignment. And, and I wonder if you could comment for us um, if dentistry and dental professionals are prepared to provide dental care safely during the pandemic, and what are the key things that the profession needs to think about in terms of having dentists safely operate? You know, great question. And uh, it's very interesting. When I initially developed my first point of the care, saliva diagnostics, which is detecting a strep mutant, which is a carigenic bacteria in saliva, I did for GC International so almost 20 years ago. I think GC really struggled how to have the dentist accepting, you know, those kind of technology and use in practice. And uh, and it's so interesting to, to see now, it's almost unimaginable, even six months ago, Costco is selling a saliva collection device for COVID-19 tests. Now, those kind of advancement is, is totally going to change in the way uh, of uh, a dental practice because uh, saliva as a third body fluid and uh, containing so much information, uh, oral health. And so I think uh, the impact of this COVID-19 study, as you said, you know, correctly, is not only impacting the COVID-19 saliva diagnostic per se, it's going to be potentially introducing a saliva diagnostic to med managing the dental health. And uh, the future is going to be very bright. And uh, I also, you know, as we all know, uh, there are many p 
people see dentists more often and there are many diseases showed up in oral cavity way before the impacting on the rest of the body. So I think uh, with the powerful tools like saliva diagnostics, um, it could uh, totally change the way of we practice dentistry in the future. Fascinating. You know, one of the things really interesting at Henry Schein is we're, um, we're the rare distributor that is strong in both medicine and dentistry. And uh, we're beginning to bring uh, point of care testing actually to our customers on the dental side, as well as medical. What's your sense about the role of dentistry in COVID testing and the opportunity? Yeah, so I clearly see since most of the dental procedure were generating aerosol and, uh, and a potential, a clear mechanism could have potentially transmitting a, a COVID-19 uh, virus. And so have that test available, especially instant test on the chair side, is, is something gonna be tremendously helpful for the safety of the patient and for the safety of the dental profession. And I also wanted to point out is uh, maybe COVID-19 season, hopefully, and the vaccine will solve the problem. But the same issue the dentists try to deal with, you know, with, with HIV, HPV, they were all in the saliva. And uh, it is uh, the same tool could be very useful to managing those diseases as well. Terrific. And do you think uh, when the pandemic finally ends, uh, whenever that will be, dentists will continue to be providers of point of care testing? Will this open up a new door? Yeah, so this is a very similar, as I just said, I definitely believe uh, there's so many biomarkers in saliva and uh, who are gonna be involving, like, like I said, HPV and HIV uh, infections and also all the microbiomes in, in the oral cavity and who are gonna be closely associated. So I have every reason to believe, you know, that this will open a lot of doors for the future. Wonderful. Oh, well, believe it or not, our time is up. I, when I never speak to you, when I don't learn so much valuable uh, information, I hope this has been wonderful for, uh, for those of us viewing this video. Uh, and I can't thank you enough for being with us uh, on Shine Chats.